Hello, this is Bruce Ackley from The Ohio State University, and in this presentation I will be talking about lipid synthesis inhibitors. This is one in a series of talks discussing the mode of action, site of action, identification chart that was developed as part of the Take Action Herbicide Resistant Management Program. This presentation will be covering the mode of action lipid synthesis inhibitors. Uh, this mode of action includes Group 1, also known as the ACC ACE inhibitors. Group 1 and ACC ACE inhibitors are the site of action. Currently, 15 different wheat species are resistant to this site of action. This site of action contains three different chemical families, a number of active ingredients, along with an even greater number of products that correspond to those active ingredients. The take home from this chart is you can be spraying any of these products, but you are actually only spraying from this one site of action, which will increase the chance of developing herbicide resistant weeds. Now to reinforce the idea and look at it slightly differently. One mode of action, one site of action, three herbicide families, and an exponential number of active ingredients all within the single site of action. So again, you can be spraying a lot of different things, but they could all actually be the same in the end. And the common name or active ingredient name is universal. The trade name and premixes have a lot of variation. Always know what you are spraying. Premixes are products or trade names with multiple active ingredients. Known, know all the active ingredients in your premixes and which active ingredients are providing control for your weed population. How does this site of action actually kill the weeds? So it's a post-emergent, uh, extremely short res residual uh, translocation to the growing point. So the product, when sprayed on the plant, is translocated to the growing point. Injury at growing point first, and then the growing point will eventually rot and pull out. It's only selective on grasses, so it won't provide control on broadleaves. Inhibits the ACCase, which blocks the fatty acid synthesis needed for membranes, and it stops growth. So. The, more, the common well-known injury is the pull apart. So in grasses, specifically if you have them like volunteer corn, it's a little more showy and easier to see. The whorl of the plant, the growing point, uh, stops growing and rots and dies. So if you pull on the top of the plant, it separates from the bottom. So you can see in this picture where the whorl, the growing point, is starting to die first and then spreading throughout the plant. So if you grab the top of that plant and pull it up, it separate and then down in the whorl, be all soupy and dead. So this is presentation 2 of 11. Uh, visit the first link for more information on site of action education. Uh, the second link, you can view time-lapse photography movies of herbicide injury on plants, and then a number of other educational weed science videos. Thank you for watching and listening, and thank you to our sponsors for supporting this project.